Hello and welcome to the panel. It's the internet panel show so engaging, so popular, and so monumentally amazing that we can show you a raw, completely unedited discussions presented to you as a live panel at PAX Australia because that is what the people demand and not because I ran out of pre-recorded episodes to air because we took a huge recording break due to PAX Australia and Desert Bus. So yeah, this is what we did at PAX Australia. This is a live prompt with uh, very, very cool, professional and funny people, Tegan Higginbotham and uh, Paul Verhoeven uh, facing off against some people that you already know and are therefore less important and interesting. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this and regular episodes resume next week. Good news! <laughs> Euphemia has done. Yeah! Now, Euphemia was many things. She was narratively convenient. <laughs> she dies uh, every episode. Every episode. In jokes. Fucking time uh, lord. She was creative. She was rich, and in today's prompt, she was extremely petty. This means in order to collect your inheritance, you will need to complete one of two horrific tasks that she specifically designed to torment you. Oh, yeah? So do you choose to spend a night locked in your home in battle with a hyper-intelligent and bloodthirsty baboon? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> or do you just spend an afternoon listening to some baby boomers complain about the, sti the state of their retirement plans. Oh. <laughs> oh. You brought stuff. That's super! 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 Blame you for me, <laughs> What a wretched woman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. alright, so, so Tegan and Paul, choose your poison. Well, the baboon can't catch us because we're oily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are concurrent! Yeah! <laughs> you have been on a fucking adventure! Yeah, we are very tired <laughs> and very oily. But I think, I mean, I didn't even need to really share notes with you, and I think our general consensus is fuck boomers, we want baboons. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, baboomers. <laughs> Choose the baboon. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, are we, is it baboon or baboon? <laughs> However, you would pronounce it here, I believe is correct. Because That's you have number us. <laughs> what, what, are we, what are we calling them? Baboon. <laughs> that was real good, actually. The ripple across the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> really good. All right. We want that one. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So you want? It's not like a magical baboon. <laughs> we would say baboon. It's not like a magical monkey, it's just a normal baboon. Can I just shoot it in the head and we're done? <laughs> you don't have a gun in your house? I can't. Are you give me some notice, I can get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead, he's dead. It's definitely an <laughs> Wait, are they like vampires where you have to invite the baboon in? <laughs> It's, it's, not, I'm just it's it bloodthirsty. <laughs> yeah, it's right. hyperactive and it's gonna make its way in your house whether you like it or not. Alright, alright, it's in the vents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, I live in a house with vents. Yeah. 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 Think aliens, but with a bright red bum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna choose baboon. Yeah. Thirsty. I mean, first of all, it can eat the dogs. But, um, but I, I mean, I just think that after a little while, the baboon is going to give up. The baboon is going to run out of steam. Boomers don't, okay? <laughs> they will never stop. They are eternal, you're correct. Yes. And, you know, I just think that if we, if we outrun, and, and doesn't, I don't know, Katniss Everdeen fight some baboons? She's fine. She looks good. Does she? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Us? Yeah, no, there's definitely the Look, all I remember from that franchise is Lenny Kravitz had a beautiful jawline. That's all I remember. <laughs> you like a good jaw. I love it. No, she had uh, the, the uh, ouchie smoke. There was ouchie smoke, uh, angry baboons, and uh, democracy? I don't know what the other one was. <laughs> Beach? Yeah. You and I work for the internet. Oh, we sure do. <laughs> How's your retirement plan <laughs> I sold my condo at the peak of the boom, and I'm pretty set up, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
I was through. But I've also had to listen to my parents describe their retirement plans to me with multiple houses. And Wait, sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> more than one? They own more than one house. They own a 52-foot motorhome. And I love my parents deeply, but I am jealous as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. So I didn't own a house. Yeah. <laughs> And I probably won't own a house. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like I could learn a tip or two from a baby boomer. I, that's probably oh, actually true. Work hard and bootstraps. Yeah. <laughs> just go, just go door to door. Yeah. And ask for a job. Yeah. And eventually the man will give you a job. Right. Um, I don't know if that's a capital M man or not, but the man will give you a job because he'll see how hardworking you are. Don't forget to call back multiple times about if you got that job yet because they like initiative. God, none of you are laughing because you know how fucking true this is. Yeah, this is some real <laughs> shit. All the fucking time! So, uh, just get a good job that pays well. <laughs> what a great solution! <laughs> Beat that man to death! <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's, it's the same everywhere, we get that. Are there any boomers in the crowd tonight? They must be. Yeah, you don't stand you. up! <laughs> I eat the rich! That, that's, <laughs> that's, some, that, that's just asking for like a children of the corn scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Except the two children kill the guys and take their soup out. <laughs> the thing is, I think I could, the, the, like, I could make it through an evening listening to boomers. I have made it through an evening listening to boomers talk about the retirement plan. And it is This is every fucking Christmas. But the, and the best part about it too is that while it's going on, you know, and I and again I love my parents, but in the back of my mind I am adding up all parts of my inheritance. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. You, so, could we could we further are these, these are our parents we're talking to this any boomer. Um, let's say it's your great aunt twice removed. So it's far enough away that you're not getting the new stove oh. she just ordered. The $12,000 Sub-Zero range that she's complaining about didn't come in Robin's egg blue, so she has to settle for a maybe. And it didn't go, so she might change her kitchen cupboards again. And so I'm thinking about doing my sunroom, because, you know, I just get so cold, because I'm so old. And there's so many complaints, including the you. Wow, damn it. That was really good. All right, why was she removed? Twice. Yeah, why was she twice removed? Wait, she's that fucking How'd she irritating. get back? Yeah. And then come on, leave again. She's just that out of touch. All right. So I'm, I'm in, in, in full disclosure. Yeah. I don't know how the how somebody gets removed. Yeah. And it's like, so I always hear like that as like the, the distant relation, like my cousin. It's generally by marriage, I think. Oh. Yeah. How do they... But then they get back? No, no, you get removed because it's like, it's, it, okay, it's complicated. We can't go on time, we have 11 minutes left. So, but, okay, so, but what I'm, what I'm understanding, if, and correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, they marry somebody. Sure. Then they divorce. And then they pick oh, someone else no, in the family. No, 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 no. Your cousin's child is your cousin once removed. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> yeah, they're just really old. Okay. Oh. The, oh. the guy in the camo is very passionate about this. Okay? <laughs> it's a man who's in the genealogy. <laughs> Got 22 of the fuckers. <laughs> Here's a graph. Oh, visual data. We're being, while Ben is being shown, a qualifying graph. Yeah. It's a mess. Yeah, I'm visual aids. With all these reenactments about how boomers talk, I, I'm, I'm feeling more and more confident about our baboon choice. <laughs> if we keep having to hear these things, I'm just going to surrender to the baboon, especially, like, you'd have this when you're in the arts, right? Like, I get asked how my little skits are going. Oh my god, it upsets me so much. Or when I'm going to get a real job. I mean, that one's legitimate, but it's... <laughs> it upsets me very much. I like the fact that you've been talking about how baby boomers work for ten minutes, thereby sounding like baby boomers. You can let it rap, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh my god, I already see you'd last, like, a minute, and then they'd have you, and you'd be one of them. And then you'd be like that poor gentleman who was ducking down before when we were asking for food. <laughs> Behind you, sir. <laughs> I'm not making eye contact, but I'm gonna guess. And uh, you know, I just think, yeah, you're absolutely right. You'd be, you'd be, you'd be mind melded. Yeah, but at the end of the evening, you're probably dead. <laughs> the moon has tremendous strength. It will probably tear you limb from limb. <laughs> like broken bones heal. Yeah, exactly. A uh, death is preferable to some of the conversations that we've been discussing. Anyway. I agree. I'm waiting for them to die so I can get what's mine. <laughs> yeah. Death that occurs on our 
end is we're just dead inside, and to be frank, I might be halfway there already. <laughs> that might give me what I need to actually enjoy a real job. <laughs> Boomers don't die, though. They never die. That's the terrible trick. And there's actually, it's kind of a Highlander deal where all the Boomers, actually, all their power gets si and super gets siphoned off into one, <laughs> one Uber Boomer. Who, <laughs> Uber Boomer. Uber Boomer. It's, 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 it's not a Boomer. <laughs> Alright, so what we've decided is that everybody here wants a baboon to tear their liver out to not deal with Aunt Euphemia's sister. Just for a change of pace. So, uh, I'm gonna call that round a rightful draw. Everybody's gonna be miserable. Perfect. What we've come down on is that the panelist is really, really, really funny live. And if we're doing it at a convention, you should definitely come see it and tell all your friends and your parents because who doesn't like this kind of delightful stuff? Monsters, that's who. So therefore, panelist one, monster zero. Thank you very much. Regular updates will resume next week.